Okay, so let's talk about A major, the first bar chord we'll do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different types of bar chords. There's many, right? But two that I'm gonna show you are based on two open chords. The first one is E major, and then the second one's gonna be A major, right? So I'm gonna take E major. I'm just gonna switch around my finger so I have my first finger free. That's it, right? And now I'm gonna bring the chord up and I'm gonna use my first finger to what's called bar. I'm gonna bar all the strings. So I'm gonna press all of those strings plus these. That's what makes it difficult, right? So it was E major, and now wherever I move this shape, it's gonna be a new chord. In this case, we're gonna do A major. So here it is at the fifth fret. It's A major. All right, it looks like E major, but with a bar. So here's A major. That's one way to do it. The second way is I'm gonna use the A shape. So I'm just gonna adjust a little bit so that I have my first finger free, just like before. And then I'm gonna move that chord out slowly. All right, again, I'm barring, right? And with this one, I'm gonna move it all the way up here to the 12th fret, and that's A major. Now, if you want, you can make it also with your ring finger. This might be a good time to do that because it's hard to fit all those fingers in. So here's A major as a bar chord at the 12th fret. The E type, right? You can strum all the strings, so no worries there. But the A style, let's say A at the 12th fret, here you're only strumming from the fifth string down. Now there's several ways to accomplish that. You can just strum from the fifth string down, or with the tip of this first finger, you can kind of mute out the sixth string. So just barely touch it enough that it doesn't make any sound, right? And this, this will happen for every chord that we do, um, all the A types. Now, now I don't have to be careful, right? So that's two ways to play A major bar chord.